हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इनक्रेडिबल फिटनेस क्वेश्चन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर कोमल मिश्राम एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन फॉर बिगनिंग ऑफ द लेक्चर वी शुड नो दैट द ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एंड द सी टू बाय द ब्लड इट इज ऑफन रेफर्ड एज अ गैस ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड इट फॉर्म्स एन इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टेप इन ओवरऑल प्रोसेस ऑफ गैस ट्रांसफर बिटवीन लंग्स एंड द टिश्यूज एंड दिस इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट फंक्शन ऑफ द सर्क्यूलेटरी सिस्टम सो लेट्स बिगिन so as depicted in the diagram you can see that the inspired air the partial pressure of oxygen is 150 mm of mercury and this is your alveoli alveolar pressure is 104 mm of mercury now we all know that there is transfer of gases from the higher pressure to the lower pressure so what will happen here from the atmospheric air the oxygen will come into the alveoli that is to the 104 mm of mercury now these alveoli they lie in close proximity with the capillary Now capillary will have venous end as well as the arterial end. Venous end pressure is 40 millimeter of mercury and arterial end is 98 millimeter of mercury. So the oxygen again from the higher pressure will come into the lower pressure. 97 percent will go and bind with the RBC which has hemoglobin and 3 percent it gets dissolved into the plasma. Now let's see what hemoglobin has. Hemoglobin has four atoms of heme and globulin what is happening here you can see here this is iron atom this iron atom the oxygen goes and binds to this iron atom as soon as one oxygen it goes and bind to the iron the affinity for oxygen for the other iron atom increases and all the iron atoms they get bind with the oxygen as a result of which oxyhemoglobin is formed now this was at the level of the capillary what is happening here This, these are the vehicles for the transport three important vehicles for transport of oxygen first is plasma second is hemoglobin third is blood now let's see what is happening at the tissue level again you can see here this is your rbc this is the oxygen in the plasma and this is your interstitial now interstitial tissue has a pressure of 40 mm of mercury and tissues 25 mm of mercury and what is the pressure here 98 mm of mercury so what will happen again from the higher concentration to the lower concentration thus oxygen from the rbc and plasma comes into the tissues so at the level of this is how the transport of oxygen occurs at the tissue level now one important thing you have to learn here is a bose effect what does it say it says increase carbon dioxide decreases the affinity of hemoglobin for the oxygen now this phenomena is very impo important when we are considering the transport of oxygen so dear students i tried my best to explain you the concept of transport of oxygen go and study if any difficulties do let me know so this is the whole diagram which depicts the transport of oxygen you can comment like and share if you see this video thank you